On Tuesday, the ACLU of Pennsylvania filed a legal complaint in federal district court, asking the judge to order the release of Jose Ivan Nunez, a Mexican man held by ICE since January 31. According to the court filings, Nunez came to the U.S. 17 years ago because he feared persecution in his home state of Michoacan due to his sexual orientation. ICE agents arrested Nunez in late January, at a meeting he and his husband who is a U.S. citizen attended with immigration officials from U.S. Citizen and Immigration Services, USCIS, as part of the process to obtain a visa. ICE officials stormed into the room, as the ACLU put it in its release, and detained Nunez and have been holding him at York County Prison outside of Philadelphia ever since. Nunez, 37, has been living in the U.S. since he came here in 2001, at 21 years old. USCIS said in a February statement that it is the standard practice of USCIS to notify ICE if we have individuals at our offices who have warrants of deportation or are in proceedings. On Tuesday, ICE said in a statement that the agency does not comment on pending litigation, but confirmed it was currently holding Nunez after having arrested him for being unlawfully present in the country, since he was removed from the U.S. in 2010 and re-entered illegally. The Trump administration has made it a priority to crack down on illegal immigration. ICE Acting Director Thomas Homan said in June that undocumented immigrants should look over their shoulder. While ICE has the right to seek removal of anyone in the U.S. without documentation, the agency has increasingly been arresting undocumented immigrants who don't have criminal convictions. Nunez has no criminal record in his nearly two decades in the U.S., his lawyer said. Nunez fled Mexico in 2001, after a closeted, gay friend of his was murdered when rumors came out about his sexual orientation, according to the ACLU's filing. Nunez himself was also threatened by the family of a woman he had been dating at age 19 or 20, when he was still closeted, after people saw him engaged in public displays of affection with a man at a party. According to the ACLU's court filing, ICE has the power to release Nunez at any point. While Nunez's husband has been able to visit him in detention, the center is over two hours away from their home in Philadelphia. Nunez is seeking a type of relief called withholding of removal as he does not quality for asylum due to his prior deportation. The next hearing for his case is in August. The ACLU's legal complaint is requesting that he be released in the interim, as he poses no danger to the community and is not a flight risk. Allen also hopes that simply filing this request in court could pressure ICE into releasing him sooner. Sometimes when you file in federal court, it puts pressure on ICE, maybe they will do their jobs and make a decision, Allen said Tuesday. I don't know if, given the political climate, they just really don't care.